Hello students, welcome to the video on transformer couple class A power amplifier. In the last video I explained you about uh, class A series for directly coupled power amplifier. Yes, the efficiency of class A series for power amplifier is 25% which is very low. That is the reason class A series for power amplifier is considered as a poor power amplifier. And its practical efficiency is between 10 to 15 percent. Okay, the reason of that less efficiency or high dissipation of power. How much amount of power gets dissipated? 75 percent of the power gets dissipated and only 25 percent of the power gets utilized and is available as AC output power. Okay, that much, that high amount of power dissipation is due to the load resistor RL. That load resistor RL is directly connected to the output terminal collector. So whenever the current flows through the load resistor RL, there is a drop across uh, load resistor. So that is the reason you will get high amount of power dissipation. Okay. But that problem of having high power dissipation can be eliminated to some extent with the help of transformer coupled power amplifier. So in the case of class A series fed power amplifier, the loudspeaker is directly connected to the collector. But in this transformer coupled power amplifier, the load loudspeaker is connected to the output through a transformer. Okay, so let us go for the circuit. This is the circuit of transformer coupled class A power amplifier. Here the load is not directly connected to the output terminal collector. It is connected to the output through the transformer. So what will happen? The advantage of this transformer coupling is we can do good impedance matching. Loudspeaker input impedance is very less. So, we have to match the impedance of output and loudspeaker. Then only we can transfer maximum power from the output to the load. Okay. With the transformer, you can do it very easily. Because here is the secondary of the transformer and this is the primary of the transformer. By varying the number of turns of the transformer, you can get the equal impedance. Like the input impedance of the loudspeaker. So the output impedance of the transformer and the input impedance of the loudspeaker are same so that the impedance can be matched. But with the series for directly coupled power amplifier, we can't do that. There the load is directly connected to the output, there exists impedance mismatching between the output and the input of the loudspeaker. Okay, so that is the disadvantage of class A series for. Yes, now for this also we are going to find the efficiency. We know the efficiency, efficiency is AC output power divided by DC input power. So now I will start with the DC operation. Before that, I want to remind you that for class A amplifiers, the operating point is in the middle of DC load line. Okay. So now let us start the DC operation. Yes, first we will start with IBQ. I explained it in class A series first. How to get IBQ? Here is your RB. RB one end is connected to VCC, other end is connected uh, to the voltage VBE and this is the current IB. So IBQ is VCC minus VBE by RB. As the transistor is an active region, you can write the maximum value of VBE as 0.7 ohms divided by RB. So after getting IBQ, you yes, will get ICQ which is I beta into IBQ. Okay, then to find VCE, yes, you must find VCE. Now listen carefully. This is the transformer, this is primary winding and this is the secondary winding. DC operation means AC input signal is 0. At that time, we will apply only VCC. Yes, for VCC means for DC, the resistance offered by the transformer is 0. The resistance offered by the primary is 0. Primary winding is 0. See that the output collector is connected to the primary. And because of the mutual inductance, you get voltage across the secondary. Okay. It means the voltage gets induced across the secondary and that gets connected to the loudspeaker. We know that the transformer works only for AC. It won't allow DC. Okay. As even though you apply DCC, it won't take any current. Okay, and the resistance offered by the transformer is 0. So, what will happen? If you compare this concept with the previous series fed, in the series fed, RL is directly taking the current. So, you got one drop across RL. That is the reason for 
maximum amount of heat dissipation. But here it is not taking the DC current. So you won't get any drop across the primary winding because its resistance is also zero. So there is no heat dissipation. Means the heat dissipation gets reduced. Okay. So now, so what will happen when RL is zero, when the primary winding resistance is zero in the case of DC? Now write KVL. Write the KVL like this. Just write the KVL. The voltage here is VC. So what will happen? I will get VCC is equal to drop across the primary winding is 0. So what are you going to get? You are going to get VCC is equal to VCE implies VCEQ is equal to VCC. Okay. So that is your VCE. Okay. So VCEQ is VCC. So what is this? This is nothing but your DC load line. This is the KVL at output. Okay. So now how to draw this DC load line? Yes. Yes. Here you have to draw the output characteristics IB curves. Okay. Yes. Now. What is this DC load line? VCEQ is equal to VCC. Yes. On this. You have to keep VCC. So let it be VCC. Okay. So what is this? Uh, VCE is equal to VCC. Always your VCE is VCC. Okay. So now, guess how to draw this? This is the line VCE Q is equal to VCC which is called DC load line. Point is, where is your Q point? Q point is in the middle of DC load line. Okay. Yes. So that is about uh, DC load line. Now coming to the AC operation. You have to apply AC signal. Okay. For AC, yes, you have one resistance at primary. And let us assume that the turns for primary as N1, the turns for secondary as N2. And assume that the resistance for secondary as RL, the resistance for primary as RL dash. RL dash is N1 by N2 whole square into RL. Here, turns ratio N is N2 by N1. Okay. So, this is the load RL and the reflected load is RL dash. Okay. So, now what will happen to the load line? Tell me what about AC load line? Now, if you apply under this AC operation, if you apply output KVL, what are you going to get? VCC is equal to, yes, IC into RL dash. We should not write ICQ because you are applying AC. IC into RL dash plus VC. Okay. Then what about IC? IC is minus 1 by RL dash into VC. Plus VCC by RL dash. Yes, this load line is similar to the general load line equation. Okay. Now, this is called. AC load line. Yes, now we will draw the AC load line here. DC load line or AC load line. The operating point is middle of the load line. Okay. So, now already. Yes, we kept the Q point here. So, now we have to draw this line. For that line also, the Q point must be in the middle. Okay. So, for that. Okay. So, now what is this line? This line is IC is equal to minus 1 by RL dash into VCE plus VCC by RL dash. Which is called AC load line. Okay. Now if you observe carefully. For DC load line we got this as VCC. Okay. And we know the operating point is exactly at the middle. And we know this is 0. This is 0. Then what about this point tell me. This is VCC. 
and Q point is middle of DC load line. So obviously it becomes two ACs. Now I'll draw the total graph. So you have to apply some uh, signal here. So this is totally the graph. Okay. Now what is the DC input power? DC input power. Okay, you better include it. I forgot to include here DC input power. So what is the DC input power PDC? What is the DC voltage that we are giving? DCC. What is the DC current that we are getting? ICQ. But transformer is not taking. But we are giving the input current. Then AC output power is PAC. We are getting full cycle. So it is VRMS into IRMS. Here you have two things. Primary and secondary. You can take output power at any point. In general, I will consider the transformer whose winding resistances are same. RL dash and RL both are same. Okay. And uh, that is the reason uh, to find AC, uh, you can take power across the RL dash or across RL. Okay. Uh, across primary or across secondary, you are going to get full cycle. So that is the reason you can write it as VRMS into IRMS. So what is VRMS? VRMS is Vm by root 2. And IRMS is IM by root 2. So hence it is VM IM by 2. Okay. So totally you can write it as V peak to peak by 2 into I peak to peak by 2 by 2. So it is V peak to peak into I peak to peak divided by 8. So that is PAC. Okay. So now we will go for efficiency. Yes, percentage eta is PAC by PDC into 100. That is, okay. So here, yes, you can write this PAC as Vmax minus Vmin into Imax minus Imin by 8. You can also write PAC in terms of max and min. So now you substitute here. Vmax minus Vmin into Imax minus Imin divided by 8 by VCC into ICQ. Okay. So totally you are going to get percentage eta as Vmax minus Vmin into Imax minus Imin by 8 VCC into ICQ. This is percentage. So you have to multiply it with 100. This is your eta. The next part is finding eta max. Okay. Maximum efficiency. What you have to do? You have to assume maximum swings for both voltage and current to find maximum efficiency. So now we will assume the maximum swings. Say this output waveform. Actually the output is from this to this. Okay, but here our signal is up to this only. So you can extend this Vmax up to this and Vmin up to 0. Okay, so now what is Vmax? If you extend up to this, Vmax becomes 2 Vcc and your Vmin becomes 0. Okay, so maximum swings. I'll draw the figure, maximum swings figure. This is the maximum swings graph. Okay, V max is this is V max and V min, I max and I min. Okay, so what is V max? V max is 2 VCC. And V min is 0. Same way. What is this current? Uh, yes, it occupied only this, this part, but you can extend up to this. As the center is ICQ, this is your 2 ICQ. Okay. So, totally, I max is 2 ICQ and I minimum is 0. Okay. So, this, I'm sorry, this is I max and this is I min. 
Please correct the figure. So, I max is 2, I CQ and I minimum is 0. Okay. So, totally what is your percentage eta max? V max 2 VCC, V min 0, I max 2 ICQ, I min 0 divided by 8 VCC into ICQ into 100. So that is 4 VCC into ICQ by 8 VCC into ICQ into 100. So so totally your percentage eta max is 1 by 2 into 100 that is 50 percent. Okay. So that is percentage eta max. Uh, for series 5 we got 25 percent. Here it is 50 percent. Again 50 percent of the power gets dissipated. Okay. And another point. Practical efficiency is between 30 to 35 percent. Okay. Another point is the power dissipation. What is the power dissipation formula? The power dissipation PD is equal to PDC minus the AC. Okay. And what is the maximum power dissipated? That is PD max. I will get that PD max when we won't apply any AC signal. Okay. So this is about the transformer couple class A power amplifier. Okay. For having derivation, you please note down the derivation and practice it. Thank you very much.